I saw a large building in the mountains north of Red Falls. What is it? That's the old sanitarium, Briar Lake. Briar Lake. Scully, you ever hear of a Dr. Aaron Greenberg? Greenberg is a proponent of the link between quantum mechanics and parapsychology. And is said to have moved his research to a facility named Briar Lake. Whatever happened in your town of Red Falls, I believe the answers can be found at Briar Lake. You talk like you know a lot of things, Mr. Mulder. You said none of you knew this bunker existed. How did you find it? That man who just left here, John. John Gilnitz. And someone here can vouch for this man? None of us knew him before this. I want you to organize everyone in this shelter and get them evacuated now. What? Why? Because this is a trap. Do it. I like how he just sort of casually walked away. It's not like he took off running or anything like that. I guess that makes sense because he's trying to remain inconspicuous. And now, and like I said before, be sure you have the night vision goggles. I didn't show them on this playthrough, but be sure you have them. I show where they are on Mulder's. I saw the name Gilnitz on a note on the sheriff's desk with the initials B.L. next to it. Briar Lake. And he was in Caitlin Winslow's diary. He drugged them, Scully. There, Mulder. John Gilnitz, stay where you are. You know, I've made fun of Duchovny for his lack of emotion in these, um, in these cut scenes. I think Gillian Anderson is actually worse. At least he has a, a couple situations where he has to kind of yell a little bit and pretend to care. Yeah, I apologize for the bright green, but it's night vision goggles. What do you want? It's it's kind of weird. <laughs> These cutscenes could be a little bit more exciting, especially when something like that's happening. I get the feeling a lot of the money that went into this game went into paying the people to do the voice acting. So just like before, we're pretty much going to walk straight, maybe veering a little bit to the left or so to avoid some falling debris and need be, but you know, otherwise, pretty much staying the same. Just like before, like I was really worried about this on Boulder's run, not so much this time. But just like before, I get this all done on one try, so it's not too bad. And you'll notice Mulder is not being a pain in the ass about this. He's a lot, this is a lot easier with Scully because Mulder seems to kind of keep up with you a little better. I think I only had like once or twice where he kind of had a little bit of trouble, so. Scully sucks a lot more than he does, I guess. Ah. You know their Scully fan now. They'll be like, God damn it, she doesn't suck. Well, they never showed any of her intimate relationships with anybody she dated, so. And here's where I kind of showcase. Ow. The targeting on this game is broken. Like, I, I basically got royally screwed here because she would not target, like, the zombie came out of nowhere and got me first, which is fine, I can accept that, but then she could not target him. And so through, I mean, I guess what I should have done here, I'm fast forwarding this just to save time. We're going to kind of veer off to the left here a little bit. I guess what I should have done was kind of try to back off a little bit and then shoot it, but, you know, I was trying to keep moving forward because you really don't want to get stuck fighting these things, as you can kind of see there. I mean, that was a whole minute or so. I fast-forwarded it, so it wasn't bad for y'all. But that was a whole minute or so of that just wasted, and you don't want to waste time here. So, yeah, all we need to do is go straight, and then once we get to that point, veer to the left, and then we're going to veer to the right here. So... Yeah, that was just really annoying. I did not care for that section. I mean, this section wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't infinite spawning zombies. If it was just a few here or there, it wouldn't be so bad, but... I mean, those things just ganged up on me like nothing. You saw I got stuck with one zombie, and I had like five of them on me. And unfortunately, your partner character in the section doesn't shoot at them for some reason. Or even attempt to get them off, really. And like before this area is dark enough, I'm going to go night vision goggles through it. I won't be doing that really 
for the rest of the chapter. We're gonna finish chapter one on here. Save your game there if you want. Scully, this cable car, it leads right up to Briar Lake. Mulder, all those people. We have to find out why this is happening, Scully. I know Gilnitz is up there. He has to answer. What does he have to answer? Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Mulder, they're coming. Okay, that was stupid. And showing my age. I don't know what the popular game shows are these days, all right? So, you know, don't get mad at me. Scully! So this is just, again, this is just like Mulder's game. I was really surprised here. I figured our job would be to fend off the zombies while Mulder does this. But apparently not. I mean, I guess it's a puzzle to do, but I just, I kind of figured, because most of this game is pretty consistent. When you have to solve a puzzle, the other one is covering you. Then when you play it in reverse, you have to cover them while they solve the puzzle. So, I don't know. I I mean, it's not too bad. I'd actually rather do this than fight the zombies, so it's, it's not a big deal. So they can just find this. It's not a big, it's not a hard puzzle. It just, you know, continuity-wise is a little weird, is all. God, that is really bright. So, yeah, but this is pretty cool, though. I, I think I've said this in a previous video, but I really wish these episodes had been Season 7 episodes. At least this one. Like, I really wish this had been a Season 7 episode because I really enjoyed this episode of the game. Uh, not so much the other two. Um, definitely not Mulder's run of Episode 2 of this. But I'll explain why once we get into that. But I really wish this one had been a story because it would have been a lot better than a lot of the stupid... What was that? My God, Gilnit said this. Stories from that we got from season seven. I mean, come on, a Fight Club episode, Ugh. the cops episode. I get this wrong on my first try, but I get it on the second. So I know four, seven, two are the three numbers, but I can't remember what order. That was fun. I think the fun is just beginning, Scully. I actually don't remember him saying that from before. I equipped my gun through the menu this time because of these freaking dogs showing up. We got a he our health revived, which is nice. I actually wasted a health kit because I forgot about this part. But yeah, I don't know. I, I enjoy the story enough on this. It's, it's not, you know, great acted. But had this been in Season 7, Duchovny was just kind of sleepwalking through his lines in Season 7 anyway. So the Mulder voice acting really actually does not bother me too much on here. It's fun to make fun of, but like I said, that's about how he was in season seven, except for maybe slightly better on here than he was in season seven. He was he was pretty bad a lot of the way. I mean there were there were some exceptions, but there were a lot of episodes where he just kind of mumbles his way through it. And he was always kind of a mumbler anyways, but damn. He sounded bored. All right, well, we're at the facility again, and the cool thing about Scully's chapter is we're actually going to be spending a lot more time walking around here. Now, continuity-wise, this kind of adds some issues as it takes Mulder virtually no time to get to the area where we're going to meet up, briefly. Yeah, and there's a handgun clip over here. I don't know why I'm bothering to come over here and collect it. And it takes Scully a lot longer, and so continuity wise, it doesn't make sense. And I was really hoping to spend more time in this building, anyways, because it seems like this could have been a setup for a really awesome section for a survival horror game. It ends up just kind of being very meh. And that's really unfortunate because, like I said, you know, we're in like a sanitarium. This seems like it would have been really cool, a really cool section, and the building itself looks fun. So it just I feel like they could have done more with it. But yeah, this this story for this episode would have been a lot more interesting of a of an episode. Hell, even just the other three would still be more interesting stories than a lot of What was that? Mulder, are you alright? I'm fine, Scully. 
Dr. Greenberg, the eminent parapsychologist. I think we're moving closer to the source of the illness. A lot of season seven. It just, it would have been a lot better. And yeah, I guess the game, I guess that's just how that cutscene goes, just sort of cuts off like that. I know there's the item we need. I know it did that in Mulder's game too. Nothing. I can't take the card in the lab coat. I guess Mulder needs it. All right, fine. Gilnitz, John V, listed in the personal records under something called Project Resonance. And so is Henry Dawson, the Red Falls doctor. Yeah, when someone bites me, I remember them. Is Frank Hawthorne there? The first murder suspect? Yes, he's here. Briar Lake is the hot zone, and Frank Hawthorne was patient zero. His accidental death released whatever it was that was incubating inside him. Are you saying they manufactured the virus here? At a facility you believe is dedicated to parapsychology. For what purpose? I don't know. Is there any data on Caitlin or Mandy Winslow? I can't get into patient files. I need a security password. See what you can find, Scully. I'm going to take a look around. Look around for what? Gilnitz and Greenberg are here somewhere. They have to answer for what they've done. Oh, Mulder. He, he, he's very rarely ever like that in the show. Oh, they must answer. Yeah, let's go listen to this, because I forgot to do it on Mulder's. Greenberg, this is Dawson. You son of a bitches. It's happening to me. After I helped you with those girls, you let this happen. Send somebody. Send Gilnitz. Help me! Help! Well, that's special. So, resonance is the word we're looking for. I don't know where you get the. I don't know where you get that hint for that. I don't know why I repeated the. I don't know part of that. Um, but I looked it up. Resonance. Go with it, and you'll be fine. Old school computer. 1990s. Even though this probably took place in 2000. Close enough. And I have trouble with the keyboard there. Um, it's probably pretty obvious, but we need to go down to the Winslow file. I wonder if some of these... I wonder if some of these are characters from the show. Probably not. <sighs> but seriously, I really wish I'd hooked up with that girl. I at least got to know her better, and then if things worked out, hooked up with her. Well, hooked up with her either way. If you haven't been watching my Mulder run, then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But I was talking about a girl that I had in a class when I was in college. When, I, when we were in here with Mulder. That's what I'm referring to. And in that section before we got to this facility, you can go get that dialogue between Mulder and Scully about that flower. It's actually more important to do that with Scully because you'll get an item which can be useful. I clearly didn't do that, and, well, it's not crucial, but it could be useful, so you might want to go do that, and if you don't know where that is, you can find that on my Mulder run as well. Hopefully you've been watching this LP from start to finish. Well, finish so far being this video. So I see, I see that crate there, and I'm looking around at this like, okay, do I need to pull this over to one of these things and stand on it to pick up an item? Because that's, you know, that's Resident Evil. That's what they would do in that game. Uh, sometimes Silent Hill, I think they do that too. But I can't stand on it. I can't pull it anywhere. So, yeah, that's not actually what we need to do. We need to come over here and secret passage. Which I guess is, a, is different. And I can kind of accept that. I actually really enjoy the music. In this section. And I remember which episode it's from, too. I'm a nerd. I'm going to go ahead and get the health kit and we'll leave. But I don't know. Since this is kind of, you know, trying to mimic classic survival horror, I kind of wish they had had that stand on the box to get something. Find something, Scully? Mulder, where are you? I just got on the elevator. I'm instinctively drawn to the basement. I found patient files on the Winslow girls, and what I can only describe as genetic maps. You mean some kind of DNA identification system? No, more than that. Their gene signatures were copied and used for something. This is genome mapping beyond any recognized scientific capability. Scully, I left a note in the security office that details how to make an access card for the elevator. I want you to see what you can find on the second floor. So, why didn't we look that up and then follow Mulder? I mean, we're in that same hallway now. It 
that seems kind of silly. I mean, I guess we got some information we, you know, we wouldn't have otherwise got, but I'll be damned if I know what that information is. You know, Scully just mentioned genome mapping or whatever. <sighs> whatever. So we get the note from Mulder somewhere in here. I was hoping we could talk to the lone gunman, but no. And I look around at this thing, but I forgot that we don't actually have this blank security card yet. We need to go get that. So we'll do that and grab a map, because why not? And then we'll progress. Oh yeah, baby. We'll progress. All over your face. No? Okay. That was stupid. Alright, well let's get the map and let's get out of here. I say get out of here, we're coming right back there. And I assume like in Mulder's game, there's probably a handgun clip in here as well. Again, I I, I, I have so much ammo. Because of using the infinite ammo cheat in the first video of Scully's game, there's a health kit in there I'm trying to grab. I'm guessing that's a lot of it, but even still, just I have a crap ton of ammo. I, I don't really care about handgun ammo at this point. Although you may need it. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's nice to have. Now, I get lucky here. And I should have turned on the flashlight, but oh well. There it is. You can kind of tell there's a little lab coat or something like that over there. I get lucky in the very second door I tried. And the first door I knew was going to have the med kit, which is why I went there. So the first door I actually tried to find the security card in, it was in. So Unless you consider the door with the med kit the first door I tried. But I already knew that was just going to be a med kit, so. I was intentionally going in there for the med kit. So, um, when exactly did Mulder leave this note for Scully? Because I don't remember him, I don't remember seeing him write anything down. But yeah, you can look on that note and it'll give you the code to get in here. Well, not get in here, but activate the security card, whatever. Ah, this is a long video. Actually, surprisingly, we're about halfway over with it, so that's, that's cool. Yeah, we're going to finish this chapter. The boss fight's a little more difficult than Scully. And that's going to be edited, so just so you know, I'll explain that when we get there, though. So now I'm looking for the save point. I guess I found it and saved. Took me off the screen for a second there. Swipe that security card. Yeah, baby. Swipe it. Yeah. Scully, I'm standing in a room with containers marked biohazardous material filled with what appears to be black oil. My God, Mulder. You have proof in front of you. And there's equipment. I I'm not sure I need you to look at it, but I think it's used for cellular manipulation, genetic cloning. I'm on my way. Well, we're going to try anyways. No guarantee we're on our way, but we'll try. Oh, God. I don't know if you linger too long if you die there. What the hell I didn't bother trying to check. So. I'm just going to say GTFO that place as quickly as you can. And now we're going to have some zombies. You probably heard them running around already. And now there they are. Yeah, not to repeat myself one more time, but yeah, I just... Oh, there were just so many bad episodes in Season 7. I mean, there were some good ones too, don't get me wrong, but... There were some that I just really did not care for. There's an important item we need in here. Vaccination gun, and we got something else along with it. This is something I only really noticed in this video, but I think this game has done it before. Um, where you'll pick up two items at once, which saves time and I can appreciate that. And I had a little cut here just to get to this proper door because why make you waste your time watching me walk around the hallway extra time. Video's long enough as it is. But I don't know, it's, I guess it's my vision more so than anything else. I can't really blame the game makers, but I have a lot of trouble at times telling if I got everything I need to in a room. So, say I'll pick up something, 
I'll see the little message and just assume, oh, I got one thing, I still need the other thing. And no, that's where the message just said I got both things I need. But it is a time saver, so that is kind of cool. You get one thing, you get them all. It's just a little weird. In some ways, it would have been nice to show the character do the animation of picking up both things. But... Ah, it's minor nitpicking. So we need to move this crate and we don't actually need to do anything else in here right now. Um, if you examine the floor underneath the crate, you will see that we need to open that something. That door we will get to in a little bit. However, first we need to, oh God, take care of this guy. And then come down this way. There's going to be some important items we need in here and a save, so it's our only safe spot on this hallway. So you're going to want that. I'm going to make good use of it. Yeah, I don't know. I, like, there was that episode from season seven about the monster where it's, it was from the monster's perspective. I didn't really like that one. And I mentioned the Fight Club episode already. Um, the main star of that episode was a guest star. It was some chick that I really don't care for. I've, I've seen her on TV before. I think she's actually a comic. Or was at one point in time. I really don't like her. Um, so that episode just sucked. I can't remember... I can't remember a lot of Season 7. I mean, there were some okay episodes too in Season 7. A lot of the ones I'm thinking about right now were episodes that I enjoyed enough. But, yeah, I, I know there were at least those bad ones in the Cops episode that they could have done away with. No more. No more. Doctor, are you Dr. Aaron Greenberg? I'm a federal agent. Tell me who did this to you. They tortured me. Gilnitz tortured me because I helped free those girls. It wasn't right what they did to them. Caitlin and Mandy Winslow, tell me what happened. Listen to me. The observatory. All the answers are there. Resonance. Take it and go from here. Get away. I'm a medical doctor. I can help you. Key. I hid the key from them. Back in the chamber. Leave this place before it's too late. Okay, so I guess he died there. There's another important item we need to get in here. I guess he died there. You think he could have given an ah uh, sound or something to signify that he died or something. I mean... Yeah, so that's the same guy we saw on the tape. So apparently he was being infected by something anyway. So he's probably, he would probably turn into a zombie. And I ruined the whole suspense of that. Because you would have think in a lot of these games he would have turned into a zombie there. Okay. And they resolved, they resolved Mulder's sister's abduction story. What happened to her. But that ended up being really weird. I didn't like how they resolved that. I wish they had just stuck with her being around somewhere, because there was an episode in season 5. I, I probably shouldn't spoil it, but the show's been out for a long time, so if you haven't seen it already, well. Yeah, they, they kind of give you a sort of where you think that the, her story has been resolved in season 5. Still leaving it open to where they could do other stuff with it if they wanted to. But there's some slides over there we're gonna pick up in a second but we get to do another autopsy autopsy yay it's this first part's this basically the same as before be sure you have the gloves and the goggles equipped and then grab the scalpel but yeah they they made it into this kind of spiritual thing involving something called walk-ins which are some spirits that they talk about actually in a previous episode of the show too um, yeah, actually, I remember that episode. That was a season two episode where they talked about that. I handled this uh, this section a lot better than I did the first one. I wonder if the body looks the same as on the other video. I can't tell. I'd have to go back and look. That would be kind of funny and sad the at the same and time. Gallbladder are benign. I actually don't know what we need to do here. I just I know we need to grab the syringe, but after that, I don't know what we need to do here. I just kind of click around until I find something. So there's going to be a cut until I actually get what we need. I apologize for not being able to really showcase what all we need, but yeah, I, 
I, I don't like these autopsy sections. I, I think it's a kind of a cool idea. I just... I don't think it really he was executed very well. Or maybe maybe there are notes on how to do that. I don't really know. Yeah, I guess I'll shut up about season 7 for the most part. But yeah, I was... Out of the Mulder and Scully seasons, that was my least favorite season. Easily. Um, I have I do some cuts. You'll have to kind of watch what I do. I, I have some cuts in these menu transitions because it's kind of painful to watch me cycle through the menu to find the proper items. Once we get those microscope slides, we need to combine that with the syringe we got and stuff. And... And then we got to combine something else. I forget what with these chemicals. With... I know we use that on here to get chemicals. That's right. I think it's another empty beaker. Not empty beaker. That's something else we'll use in a second. We're going to combine some. We're going to use something else on here to get chemicals. In, in... I don't know if it's a syringe or a be Not beaker. Or slides or some. Maybe it's like the vials or something that we picked up near the guy that was tortured. I don't know. But either way. We're basically building a vaccine, sort of, different than the other one. So we need to grab the beaker, because we're going to need that. This one's a little more interesting, actually, than the other. For one, it's not timed, so that's really nice. But I do find this microscope section a lot more interesting. It's a little tedious. I don't really care for that. So once you get on here, I think you can hit X or repeatedly hit X until it does this. And it brings up the ingredients we need and how much of each one. We're basically making ammo for that vaccination gun. And that's, I don't know, that's actually pretty interesting. I, I think the process ended up being a bit tedious, but I also didn't really know what I was doing. You're not going to really notice that because I did a lot of cutting and moving stuff around so I guess if you know what you're doing it's not such a big deal but it can be a bit tedious on the first go around so it'll tell you exactly how much of everything you need I don't know that's I don't know it's interesting I, I like that a lot better than the other microscope section where you're just sort of trying to rely on Scully mumbling over a lot of loud music and Mulder shooting to know what to do I think it, I think it comes off a lot better this time. And two, we're not being timed either. That helps. So that's clever. I'll, I'll give them credit for that. I I don't know when I when I'm whenever I'm kind of giving my opinion on games, I like to kind of be fair. I guess like if I bitch about a game, if I find something I like about it, I want to be able to do. You know, give credit for that too. And if I like a game a lot, but they have something that they fuck up on, I like to be able to, you know, give them shit for that too, so. And I guess I'm still mixing stuff. Oh yeah, once, once you have that orange solution thing, which is what we first have to make, then you have to mix that with those chemical darts or whatever they're called, and then you mix that, and that essentially becomes ammo, and you mix that with a vaccination gun. And that's what, one of the ingredients, we only have enough for the one dose, or which is six shots. I may or may not have been ammo cheat this part. Um, but if you go grab the flower thing with that cutscene that I mentioned that we saw in Mulder's game, then you, I think you actually get another one of those ingredients and that'll allow you to make another dose of that. Which can be really helpful in the final boss. I unfortunately don't know how to proper do the final boss. I'll show you what I did when we get there. It's it's kind of bullshit. I don't really like it. But going back to season seven for a moment, I actually did really like the Millennium crossover episode. I'm a big fan of both the X Files and Millennium, so I thought that was awesome. I know a lot of people don't really like it. It ends up being kind of a silly story involving zombies. And, you know, within the Millennium canon, it kind of trivializes everything that you've seen in that show. But if you just accept it as a fun little crossover episode between the two shows, then it's, I don't know, it's, it's fun. I enjoyed it for what it was. 
I knew they weren't going to do a bunch of tie-ins other than, you know, what you need to know about the, t the well, the main character mostly. And his daughter a little bit. So yeah, activate that and then we get this thing. These things are very, very deadly. I think you can only take like one hit maybe from them. And that's about it. But the good thing is this vaccination gun will kill them in one shot. I never tried using it on a zombie, like a normal zombie before, but I'm curious how they would have handled them. Now, the good thing is, well, good or bad, I guess. We don't really face a whole lot more zombies in this section. There's not a whole lot of combat in this section of Scully. There is a medikit if you want it. And I walk in this first first one over here by the desk and it's not the right one we actually need to go into this one and this is kind of another example of the game confusing me because i pick up two items at once so i'm walking around looking for the second one i already got it yeah again that's just my vision i don't blame the game for that i actually appreciate that when there are a couple items in a room and you just pick them up all at once that's something else i'll give them credit for too i think that's kind of cool like I said, it's a time saver. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool. We got to see a little bit more of this section. I was I was very disappointed in the length of this section as, in Mulder's game. So you could say I was disappointed in Mulder's length. No? Not funny? If I had my sound effects for my Mac, I would have put Sound of Crickets there. <sighs> Whatever. So we got a key basically to go into another room to get another key to go into another room and actually get an item and what is essentially another key awesome classic survival horror <laughs> oh my god i didn't say everything about classic survival horror was good yeah get out your night vision goggles you're gonna need them and that is really really bright yeah. I dim parts of the next area though, so hopefully it won't be as bad, but this part really does suck to look at. You're going to be my pretty girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see yeah, that's a lot dimmer at least, so that helps. Um, there is a code that you need to look up. I don't know if I showed. I frantically run around this area like a chicken with my head cut off for a while, and I cut a lot of that too. So I don't know if it made it onto the video, but there's a code and an item you need to get. And it's another two items at one time thing, which is kind of cool. We got a screwdriver and a key. So use the screwdriver here. If you don't want to look for the code, I'm going to show it to you. But it is on the wall. It is, that's where I found it. It was kind of written on the wall conveniently. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That guy's going on about Scully, I guess. <sighs> Interesting. Hello? Hello? All's quiet now, I guess. Take off these, these night vision goggles. How... Who's here? I don't know. Except for the fact that we already kind of know because of what happened in Mulder's game. Piece of dialogue that was said. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. I don't know the guy. You're going to be my pretty little girlfriend. Uh, no, dude. No, Scully's not about that. She likes the ladies. Oh, no. I, I wouldn't have cared if she was a lesbian. It wouldn't matter to me, but... This is actually kind of funny. I've heard a lot of people go on about how hot they think Scully is or this and that. I was I was never really taken with Scully. Now, admittedly, there were times where she looked really good. I know the first couple episodes of season five, and I guess kind of in season five, she looked really good. And I think again in season nine, which is unfortunate, I only will watch one episode from that season because she actually did look pretty good in that season where she had longer hair. I thought those two seasons she looked really good. I was just never really a big Scully fan as far as that goes. Yeah, we just need to come through the school here. You can go save if you want before doing this, but you don't really need to. We're not really going to have any enemies. 
until we come across another save point, which for this game is new, but for Mulder's game it wouldn't be. So, don't waste the extra game time, I guess. Maybe we'll get a slightly better ranking. Briar Lake, this is Alpha. Please respond. We've lost your transmission, Briar Lake. Re-establish link. We're waiting for a progress report. What is your situation? Are you in danger? Alpha, this is Briar Lake. We require assistance. Who is this? Immediate disaster relief is needed at Red Falls, Colorado. This is a federal emergency. Ending transmission. Who is this? <laughs> Skyl... Uh, not Skyl. Scully is such a dipshit sometimes. <laughs> I mean, that's actually fitting with her character. That She would do that in the show, too. Yeah, it took me a while. I had a cut. I had to turn on the flashlight, but that's where the item is. Again, I believe it's two items that once we picked up. Which is a time saver, and given all the time that I spent that y'all will not have to be subjected to. And I don't actually know where we go to get out of here. But look for the area that I find and go there, I guess. I got lost there too. But of all the time I spent creating that vaccine, and it was a long time. I, uh, I'm very happy to have the little shortcuts of picking up two items at once in this section. I appreciate that, actually. Eventually, we're going to leave here. And now that we got that other random tool, I hope I showed this. Yeah, because you have to combine um, you have to combine two items here. I may have cut that. I hope I didn't. Um, there's that metallic thing. Yeah, there's that metallic. There's like a metallic thing we picked up in the save room, and one of the items we picked up there. You have to combine them. I think I cut that, and I apologize for that. You need to combine them in order to make what we use to get out of here. Don't ask me how that works, but. Just do that, because I think I cut that. That's Again, I apologize for that. Drop the gun, or I'll shoot you where you stand. After I saved your life upstairs, Scully? Crycheck, I will kill you. <clears throat> Mulder! What's down there? Your future, Mulder. You want to keep talking in riddles, or do you want to tell me what it is? Inside that shell, they're breaking through. There's an artifact. It's alien, Mulder. And I know you feel it. Mulder. Mulder, we have to get out of here. It's happening again. Crycheck! Mulder, come on. Mulder! Yeah, because we gotta be separated again, right? See? Save your game. You can't stop this, Agent Scully. Help keep him alive. I like Crycheck. We're gonna try the Magnum here. It actually kinda sucks, but we're gonna actually try that just to use it, because I haven't used it in this game. I still never used a Molotov, so hopefully we'll pick up more later in another episode so that I can use them. They're going to take all our stuff away when we start a new episode, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I like Crycheck. He always seems kind of ambiguous. You don't really know what his motivations are. He'll do some nice things and then he'll do some evil things. I don't know. I guess you could say that's almost bad writing because you don't really... They don't really know what to do with him. But I don't know. I, I think it's kind of cool that he's kind of ambiguous. I, I do really wish they did explain things at some point, like what actually he's trying to do. But at least, I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. You know, maybe he does a nice thing because he needs to in order to accomplish his evil goal. I don't really know. But I, I'm actually a bigger fan of Crycheck than I am the Smoking Man. I mean, both characters are acted very well, but... You know, we don't really see, you know, the smoking man's presence. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it's pretty strong. Other times he's only in like one scene or something like that. All right. Very important to get that gun. Just like a Mulder's game, we're going to need it. And there's ammo for it. So grab that. And I think we also got a first aid kit when we picked up the gun. I'm not sure. Another two for one special. I appreciate that. I think that's what I'll call this video, which will make absolutely no sense to anybody unless they actually watch it. 
but that's okay. I titled one of my Resident Evil Revelations videos, Helicopter Bang Bang. Again, makes sense if you watch the video, but otherwise, kind of confusing, I guess. Um, you might want to save your game there before coming in here. This, again, is just like Mulder's game. We have to activate this thing and run around. Mulder, what happened? What is it? I don't know, but they've taken the artifact. So who the hell is this stupid harvester guy? They, it, he's just sort of a dude, like, I'm guessing he's an alien, but we don't really know. And this is the part that sucks about this fight. These things are already active before, like, after he shows up. Like, when we do this as Mulder, you get you kill them first before he even shows up, so you can just go straight for him. And he revives them like nothing. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to actually do this. I think the goal is to kind of knock them down somehow, but don't ask me how you do that without killing them so that you can go target this Harvester guy. But Scully just will not target them. He will not, I mean, she will not target the Harvester guy. Just absolutely will not. Like, doing this as Mulder, I was able to do this fight no problem. I don't know what the fuck her problem is. I read somewhere that L2 is supposed to be your switch target button. Does not work, so here's what I do. And that's why this is kind of dangerous. But if you do it right, this is the only way I know to actually beat this fight with Scully. And I told you if you got that extra item from the flowers, then you'll have extra antivirus stuff so that you can kill them with that antivirus gun a lot easier. Here. 